Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and this is the Diva Den where we like to talk all things home. So uh, it's been a really hectic few months and I've let a few things, you know, uh, a few things slip. And uh, so now it's time to start getting the house back semi-organized anyways. So I thought I'd take you along with me on uh, the next few videos on how I organize a few spots in my in my house. And today I'm going to start with this underneath the sink in my guest powder room, which is on my main floor. I've kind of just been shoving things in left, right, and center. I don't know about you guys, but my husband is obsessed with light bulbs. And anytime we go somewhere and there's light bulbs on sale, we end up with some and we have so many light bulbs i don't even know what he's going to use them all for but we have them just in case and he stores them underneath the guest uh, powder room sink now i'm not going to move them from there because i know better <laughs> that's where he stores them that's where he wants them because he can get to them easily but things have gotten out of control there so i am going to Try to tidy it up so it's not so chaotic underneath there. So in order to start all these organizational projects, I've got a few spots in my house that really need working on. This will be the guest powder room. My linen cupboard upstairs is out of control. Out of control. It every time I open it, I almost want to slam the door shut real fast because it's driving me crazy. So I have to get to that. Uh, my laundry room, I have um, front loaders, but they're on pedestals, and the pedestals are out of control. So those are a few projects I'm going to be doing. So what I did was, I went to my local dollar store and picked up some items that I thought I could use to uh, try and start getting organized. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. This is just a little bit of it, just to show you what I got. For each of the bathrooms, I got some uh, Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. I thought for $1.50 I think it was. You can't beat it. So I'm going to put one of these in each of the bathrooms, you know, in case guests or anybody want to, if, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I also got some, uh, again, for like $1.50 or $2, I got some uh, tile cleaner for the bathrooms. So got one for each of those, my bathroom and the main one. I got some Lysol wipes, just these uh, disinfecting wipes that I'm going to put in each of the bathrooms, especially the guest room. You know, for quick tidy ups, we've had a lot of guests recently, so it's good to have some of those in there. What else do I have in here? Oh, some mold and some Clorox mold and mildew. Again, this is all from the dollar store. I didn't realize the dollar store, at least in our area, sold like full size full size cleaning products that's amazing and you pay a lot more in the regular stores than you do at the dollar store for full size so I thought you know what I'm gonna stock up on that always use it I got these bins I don't know if you can see just these gray these gray bins has a little hook a little handle here for them I I think I know where I'm gonna use it probably in my linen cupboard upstairs, but I got a couple of those. And I got a couple of just the plastic baskets to use. I'll probably use one down here in the guest powder room. I'm not sure. I'll probably have to go. There's so much organizing I need to do. Oh, so much. It's what happens, eh? Life gets in the way and it's just what happens. And that's okay. But now I'm feeling like I am able to get it done. And that's what I'm going to do. So, I guess without any more procrastination, I'm going to get going on the uh, powder room, organizing under the sink. Now, I will tell you the lighting is not great. It's a tight space, so I apologize if the lighting isn't great in there. But let's go and let's see what we can do with that space.
right guys here's the finished the finished look all I did was organize his light bulbs according to watts and full packages and all that kind of stuff because I know he wants them all here so I have to leave them here this is where he wants them this is where they're going to be. All I did in this basket was I put all the loose ones or any packages that were open and still had a bulb in there. They're just all the loose ones that are not a full package. This little container, I have no idea. I put the extension cord in there. They're all his little uh, knick-knacky things that he needs and wants here for a quick access. So I feel better that all the light bulbs are all organized. I think he'll be able to find things a little easier. If he's looking for something at the back, we can easily pull out this or if he's the basket or if he needs something in that basket, he can easily pull it out and look at it. Well, at least that's the plan, right? That's the plan. So over here, I just put one of these plastic baths baskets and I just stacked some extra toilet paper in here and at the back I put some boxes of Kleenex just to have in here for anybody. I originally was going to use this basket for the cleaning supplies but because it's made it's not really washable I thought there's no point in it I can use that basket somewhere else so I just put the wipes the toilet cleaner and some other cleaner at in down here just to have that way when I need to clean the toilet clean this bathroom very quickly if people are coming over I have all what I need here right here at my fingertips so I like that idea so that's it that's how easy it was to organize this little cupboard so that's it you guys that was a quick uh, organization how I organize underneath my guest bathroom it was pretty easy it was actually easier than I thought it was going to be but you know I found a few surprises like a Christmas decoration and a light bulb in a candle holder <laughs> sometimes you never know what you're gonna find but I hope you enjoyed this quick easy video and I challenge you to go find a quick little space to go clean and uh, let me know what you what you have to do in your house so until next time guys I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and think about hitting that red button below and subscribing to my channel I'd love to have you join me each week as I explore different areas to organize maybe you know cook clean whatever but uh, I hope you'll think about hitting that red button and subscribing and becoming part of the family here at the Diva Den. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye, you guys.